until now we had been seeing different view groups like linear layout relative layout today i'm going to introduce one more layout that is called frame layout the reason why this particular layout is important it can hold at one time one widget in the form of view or even a view group it is not capable of holding multiple view like for example over here i have got two image view but at the runtime it will be only holding one of the view that is the one of the image view and the other one will be invisible so let me show you what do we mean by that so i execute the program in the emulator and as the as the program gets spilled let me come to the main activity here what i have done is let an emulator is ready so this is one image what i am supposed to do is i will be clicking on this image the moment i do the image gets changed so that means each time i will be clicking on the image alternatively i will be seeing one of the images so how this is basically going to work so over here you can see that i have taken the interface on click listener and there are two image views which i have uh, i have created the reference variable and here i have done the initialization i have associated the reference variable with my methods said on click listener and i have given the definition of my on click interface abstract method over here so it would be uh, retrieving the id of the view and the view over here is image view if you see over here this is one image view uh, this is its id id it is associated with the image called a and the image is there in the drawable folder so if you move to the drawable folder you will find a and b both the images are there so the next image view is also associated with another image called b and the id of the image view is img2 so both of their identification has been done done over here respectively and now what i'm doing is that by virtue of the interface on the listener as i will be clicking on the particular image the id will be retrieved and that will be initialized in this integer variable and then i will go for a switch case to check that which particular image i have clicked alternatively what i will do is that i will be if i am switching on the visibility of image 1 that is then i will be uh, i will be switching off the visibility of the image 1 by typing view gone it's a constant so if you go to the class view you will find that this constant has been defined over there see it's a final constant and it belongs to the class view okay so it's a part of the view class if you see over here as i scroll up see over here it's a class called view and that's a constant so view dot gone means i'm switching off the visibility of that particular widget similarly to enable the visibility i will be writing view dot visible so this is also one of the constant okay android has got different constant variables associated and this is one of the constant similarly uh as if i have enable the visibility of image 2 then alternatively when i will be viewing the image 2 in that case i will be switching off the visibility of image 2 and i will be enabling the visibility of the image 1 so this thing will be going on periodically as you click on the image respectively what i am doing over here so that is what the small presentation of my frame layout is all about which is capable of displaying only one widget at a time you might be wondering then why why i'm why i'm just going to view only one widget what is the utility of that the very important utility of frame layout is when we work with something called fragment okay the fragments are embedded within the uh, frame layout only so that's the reason why i made this particular uh, video so that in the upcoming days when i will be working on fragment uh prior before i get into fragment you will have a clear hands on the frame layout okay so i hope this particular video helped you to understand the concept of frame layout uh please try to do it by your own self okay so until my next video have a nice time